last but by no means least, rounding off the Fists of Fury mini-series is a game that's all about fists. It's another Melbourne House re-release on Ricochet and it's the classic way of the exploding fist. Okay, so like most Ricochet releases, Way of the Exploding Fist features the original artwork from the Melbourne House release, slightly tweaked to fit the cassette cover, uh, and this artwork has Way of the Exploding Fist at the top, and a very angry man punching a piece of wood. And the Ricochet logo and Mastertronic at the bottom. And then the spine's got Way of the Exploding Fist printed on it, as you'd expect. And the back cover has got some screenshots of the action. Another mention that it was originally published by Melbourne House, much like the Knuckle Busters cover, and the usual faff on the back saying what the game's about. One popular computing weekly's Game of the Year award, and rightly so, I might add. And so let's take a look inside, and we've got the big Ricochet logo at the top. Brief description of the game, karate simulation game, controlled entirely from the keyboard or joystick, and it's got details about blocks, holding moves, practicing moves, one player mode, two player mode, and then inside we've got the controls which are quite complicated for this era of gaming, as you can see Pretty much every direction on the joystick does something different, whether the fire button's pressed or not. Also got the keyboard controls, and surprise, surprise at the bottom, the loading instructions. And the rest of it, as you can see, is basically blank. Alright, so the game loads, and it goes straight into a demo of the gameplay, uh, with the background music playing. No title screen or credits or anything like that, it's just straight on with the action. Um, so, what else to say, but let's get started really. So, uh, it's a one-on-one -on -one karate fighting game, as I'm sure you know. And, I'm just getting my ass kicked. Not a good start. The first couple of guys are pretty easy to beat, however. You can usually just run up to them and we'll give them a whack and, uh, and they go down. Well, sometimes they kill you. It does happen. There we go, got him. And uh, you only have to get the two uh, yin yang things filled in to complete a stage. Any remaining time is added to your score and you move on to the next one. Uh, and the best way to complete most of the levels early on is just to do the leg sweep. Um, you guys got quite a lot of moves, as I'm sure you know, because it's way the exploding fist and anyone who's watching this will have played it. Anyone who played on a Commodore 64 back in the day will have played with the Exploding Fist. So it's purely an exercise in showing how far I can get, which is actually not that far, generally speaking. Usually get to about third or fourth dam. Usually by using the leg sweep. So um, all I can really talk about aside from this is uh, the graphics, which are very cool. Uh, nice animation on our my two uh, fighting guys, obviously just reusing the same graphics. Uh, nice backgrounds as well, which do change every couple of stages. I forgot you can do somersaults as well, which are all very entertaining. And uh, the time has run out and I've won, there's a little referee who's given the, the game to me because I got the most hits in. Um, <clears throat> nice sound effects as well, every time you get a hit as well, you've got the sort of uh, karate noise. Just trying the roundhouse kick with little effect. It's really impossible to do the roundhouse kit unless you get the, the timing just right. And I'm actually getting killed here. Could be in trouble. Just use resort to the trusty leg sweep to win the, the match. When in trouble. So I'm now onto the second Dan and the uh, background changes again to a kind of a dojo. 
Um, so there are a lot of moves and you can block, which was something probably a first for the time, for the era. Uh, blocking's a bit erratic though, so it's better just to resort to the same moves over and over again, as you can see. It tends to work pretty well. Jump straight into a little leg kick there. Come on, I must have had him then, surely. There we go, trusty leg sweep takes the match again. <laughs> when in trouble, that is the most defensive, offensive move. Just sit there waiting with the block on and just wait for him to run up to you. So you try and get you. The only thing that's not, not entirely clear is why you sometimes you get two yin yang marks and sometimes you get one for basically doing the same move. Oh, there you go. At least I can finish off with a different move. It'll be a clean sweep here if I'm careful. I'll just avoid him now until the time runs out. Claim the victory again. Which moves me on to third down. And a new background with a Buddha statue. And this is where you do have to be more careful because they're quite difficult to get now. Although the leg sweep does serve you pretty well again. Just repetitive leg sweeping to try and claim the victory. Or I could just do some somersaults and wait for the time to run out. Yeah. Um, it's probably fair to say it's not aged particularly well compared to more modern fighting games, but it is a classic. A very polished game of its time, and I think well worth the. 199 budget asking price. Most people probably got it as a full price game or part of a compilation prior to that. Got you. And again. And uh, I should polish this guy off, which then leads to the amusing bonus stage. I'll give him that one. Six seconds remaining. So I won that one again. Now comes the bonus stage where you have to punch a ball in the face. And I missed and he run me over. That's a bit unfortunate. Never mind. And that's pretty much the game. Um, as I said, it is a classic. I don't think anyone who hadn't already bought it prior to the... Um, budget game coming out would have certainly bought it as a budget game. I think I actually did buy it as a budget game uh, the first time around in the late 80s. And I also had this game on my BBC Micro. And I forgot to mention the landscape's changed again, although we might have already seen this one once. Oh, that's like it. We hit each other then. Oh, it's a draw. Oh, I've won that one as well. I don't know what I'm up to now. Still fourth down. You bored yet? Still watching? Great stuff. I'm not going to last much longer because I'm getting to the level where it gets quite difficult to win, especially when you're back to back. Yeah, that'll be, the time's about to run out. I've got, I've got to go hell for leather now and try and, there we go. And the red's won and that's game over. And review over. So I've got my name in, not a bad showing. And job done. And that brings the uh, Fists of Fury series to an end. Hope you enjoyed it. And we'll be back to some regular run of the mill, see what comes next type reviews next time around.